Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, this is my son Ben. And today we have a new Dalmor here in our cask. And it looks like an old one, the 12 year old, but it's in particular a little bit different. So this is a, a new standard edition, right? It's not a uh, limited. I think it's a a standard edition, standard but edition. Uh, now the 12 year old standard standard edition with sherry cask select has a an emblem mm -hmm. on the bottle. This nice. is typically uh, you see, I think from the 18 year old on mm. you get that. So this is special and therefore the price <laughs> is as well a little bit higher than normal. So this is in the mid 60s. Uh, euros dollars pounds wherever you live is 43 percent abv and the specialty on this one is now they have special sherry casts for a long finishing period they do not only have a normal sherry cask finished but they have four different uh casks or say four different type of oak casks and uh they have uh different three different cooperages in Spain and uh, they produce these casks and in these casks Oloroso and Pedro Jimenez so sweet sherry uh, was matured for quite a time and after that uh, the whiskey is then finished for 18 to 24 months in those casks and that's quite a long time longer than typical finishing periods are and that's the specialty in this whiskey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so 43%, um, 12 years, Dalmor, sounds like a really good whiskey. Yeah. And if I read the the uh, tasting notes on the back, they are quite present here. You can't mm -hmm. really <laughs> overlook them. And we're in for a Christmas whiskey. Christmassy whiskey with a lot of dried fruit and a lot of nuts and raisins and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, the bottle appeared uh, in... Well, late summer 2020 and uh, should be available uh, for the Christmas season. Mm -hmm. Yeah, widely. So today is November 18th, mm -hmm. 2020. That's an excellent cork, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's a well pressed cork and it doesn't even look. Uh manufactured but natural that's but a match that that's a natural that's but natural. very fine cut very fine cut so dalmor mm. is a distillery in the northern highlands where it is said that there is the citrus note very present in the whiskies and I really feel these oranges, caramelized oranges, mm. and a little bit of honey. What do they say? Caramelized orange, ginger, and sultanas. Yeah, honey. It's, it's definitely a sweet one with a lot of dried fruit. And yeah, caramel oranges, you could say caramelized oranges. It's, it's, it has that feeling of that, uh, there's a, that, that treat, that Stollen, that has the kind of a cake that has these uh, caramelized oranges in them. Mm -hmm. Like from the very, very old days from your grandma, that one that you didn't like because it's not made of chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> and those are the pieces uh, <laughs> which, you, uh, which I always left over after Christmas. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I said that uh, once again, uh, already some time ago and I got a shit storm. That the best of all. <laughs> Can't tell that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. Cheers. Nice. Cheers. Mm. Very much sipping. And then the oak kicks in the sherry kicks in then very very intense but no bitterness which mm -hmm. you typically have from extreme sherry cast maturation 
this is only a finishing, even 18 to 24 months, but it's just a finishing. So that does not have to be a bitterness in it. Mm. Mm. Little almonds, little drier. Mm. Very heavy. I would have expected mm -hmm. more sweetness and more lightness. Very heavy. There is a sweetness, but it's it's um, combined with a lot of dark chocolate and nuts and oakiness and mm, spiciness even going on. So it's it feels like a bit of a a spiced uh, confectionery for Christmas. Yeah, one of these old confectionaries with ginger and um, uh, cinnamon and other spices in it. I do have some caramelized saffron as well. Mm -hmm. And probably a little bit of cinnamon. Mm. Yeah. <coughs> Boah, hefty for 43%. Mm. It's really extreme. Mm. It's a strong one. I wouldn't have expected so much volume and so much mm -hmm. um, oak and so intense dark sherry notes and just a 12 year old. But yeah, 12 year old can be can be really good if you have the right cast and you, yeah. The right distillate. Yeah, and it's dangerously sipping. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's still oh, very like it. smooth. It has these intense flavors, but they're not like attacking you, but just very, very present in the back of your yeah. mouth. But after the third small sip, mm -hmm. the aftertaste really builds up. So a massive aftertaste, a long aftertaste. The dryness is gone now, a little sweeter. Exotic fruits. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. So I've no idea how present that bottle already is in the market. And if it's or will be available where you live, uh, we have quite a source of that. Mm -hmm. So we're happy to have that in addition to the normal assortment of Delmore. If, if I would have that in a blind tasting, I would have said at least 18 years. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah. It's it's just that intense. Very very nice. Yeah, I I would say um, give it a try. It's a it's a good one. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's a bit more expensive for sixty plus. So mm, yeah, if you can afford it, I can really advise you to get one of these because it's just a a very good whiskey. So yeah, that was it with this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like this video, please give it a thumbs up and see you next time.